Uh, I know it was a weird last season because it ended so early, um, but scoring was definitely there for you with the Wild. Um, but I know you've talked about wanting to develop and, and take the next steps as, as being a 200-foot player. You would think that most people are the opposite. Like, they're 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 happy with their defense. They want to score more. Is it, and I don't want to say easier, but isn't that different for you? Like, the scoring touch might be there. You want to add the defense to that. Yeah, I, and I, I don't even know if it's it's adding it. I, I know I can do it. I mm-hmm. just want to have a lot of good players that can do it. So, for me... Um, I know I can score offensively and, and do things offensively, but it, learning those things defensively comes with experience, and I want those experiences so that I can learn and uh, and then make myself a, a 200-foot player every night and, and make myself just as good or if not better in the DN than I can be in the offensive end. When you say learn and get better defensively, is it is it simply just more NHL games? Is it taking a, an expanded look at the, the video post game? Is it um, learning from other players? What do you, where do you think your learning is going to make the biggest difference? I mean, I think in any aspect of your game, you can learn and, and do video, watch certain guys and, and see how they react and, and what they do in certain I, I mean, I'm confident in my abilities to do it in both ends right now. But for me, coming in there, I, I also want to prove that and, and let other people know that, that it's not just my own confidence that's uh, – I'm in con- not just confident in myself that I can do it. I want to prove it to other people too. And sometimes it's tough because – there's certain opportunities that you can get, and, and um, hopefully there's more opportunities I can get uh, in this uh, future endeavor. All right. Uh, speaking of scoring goals, what's your favorite way to get one? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. As long as it's going in the net, I'm happy. Well, okay, but I mean, is there a most satisfying way? I mean, a breakaway? Is it a tip out front? I mean, is there one way that you really like, you like watching those types of highlights? I'd say probably the most satif- satisfying is probably a one timer or a breakaway. Uh, I think one timer because usually you're kind of picking your spot and it's uh, off your stick before the goalie has time to react, and it kind of feels good to be uh, the guy with the quick stick. But uh, and then breakaway is just because it's you versus the goalie, and that's it. Only one guy could win that yeah. battle, so uh, it's kind of just you, and you got to focus in and 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 do whatever you need to do just to put the puck in the net. And goalies nowadays are very good, so when you can score on a breakaway, you're obviously doing something right. The clapper is kind of like the um, the slam dunk of hockey, right? Yeah, I can I, I can see that comparison. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of has that exclamation point on the end of it.